welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as parkinson's disease detection using machine learning which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so basically Parkinson's disease is a disease which affects the human nervous system. Basically, this Parkinson disease is a progressive disorder, which means that this usually begins gradually and gets worse over the time period. So, identifying the early stage of this Parkinson disease will be helpful for the patients for identifying and also the curing of this Parkinson disease basically this progressive disorder Parkinson disease affects the nervous system and also the parts of the body controlled by the nerves so this leads to shaking stiffness and difficulty with the walking so the patients who have been affected by the Parkinson disease will have this kind of symptoms like shaking stiffness and difficulty with the walking things so now in this babe base paper the authors have implemented the prediction of the Parkinson disease using regression and the SGBoost classifier but we are not going to use the same model so here we are going to implement using exception architecture so our proposed algorithm model is exception architecture and here we have two models so before that let me say about the data set so here in the base paper you can see the data set with the spiral and also the wave so we are going to use two diff two models for identifying using spiral and also using the wave so as i intimated earlier so the patients who have this parkinson disease will be having uh, symptoms like uh, shaking shaking stiffness and difficulty in walking kind of thing so this data set has been done with the both the healthy and also the parkinson disease patient so let me go to the model folder and show you we have spiral and wave here so in the spiral part you can see we have healthy and parkinson so first if you go to the healthy one you can see the data set that is available and also in the parkinson part you can see the data set that is available same in the wave for wave folder you can see in the training part we have LTN Parkinson and here you can see the wave part of healthy patient and Parkinson as well. So these are the data sets which is being referred from the Kaggle. So these data set have been taken from the patients and the no healthy pa healthy patients by using different kinds of techniques. So we are going to use this data set for our model so our model as I said we have two models the first one using the spiral drawing so which has the training accuracy of 95.34 percentage and the validation accuracy of 93 percentage and for the wave drawing we have achieved around 93.34 percentage and also validation accuracy of 86 percentage so before execution of the project make sure that you have satisfied the requirements by using the exact version and the libraries that we have mentioned in the requirements folder so first copy the source code location go to the command prompt and go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter so once if you see this URL, you can just copy this URL, just go to any of your browser, I'm going to Firefox and just paste this URL. Now you can see the home screen, welcome screen of the project with the project title Parkinson's Disease Detection Using Machine Learning. So just click this login menu. So now it will be navigated to the login page, which consists of username and password. Kindly note that we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin. And then click login so once after clicking the login button it will be navigated to the preview part so once the login is successful, it will navigate to the preview part so here you can see the preview for the spiral drawings so the first model we are going to use showing with the 
spiral drawing so first upload the spiral image for the testing purpose so just click this browse button just go to the project folder so in the project folder you can see the testing folder where you can see the spiral and the wave folder so as we are going to use the spiral as the first time first model so let's go to the spiral part and now you can see healthy and parkinson so first let me go to the parkinson's folder and let me select any of the image here and then click submit now it will be navigated to the prediction part where you can see the result for this image that we have uploaded so here you can see the parkinson spiral drawing prediction is parkinson spiral so this is a patient now let me again click the preview spiral menu and then let me upload some other image for the healthy case let me upload this image and then click submit and now you can see the prediction result is healthy so this is a healthy part of it so in this way you can check with some other images also so let me give the spiral is parkinsons let me select this image and then click submit and now you can see prediction result is parkinsons spiral so in this this type you can just give the other data set image and you can test it now let me navigate to the performance analysis for this spiral part and in the performance analysis of spiral part you can see the performance analysis parameter like accuracy precision value recall value and f measure value and here you can see the confusion matrix of it and now let me navigate to the preview part for the wave part as i said spiral and wave first we have seen the spiral part now we are going to see using the wave part so identifying the parkinson disease using wave drawing so let me click the browse button now let me go to the testing folder again let me go to the wave and there you can see healthy and parkinson's part so let me select the parkinson part and let me select some image and then click submit so now let us see the prediction result for the data set image that we have uploaded now you can see the prediction result is parkinson wave so again let me go to the preview wave menu and let me upload some other image in the healthy part and now let me click submit and now you can see the prediction result is healthy wave and let me show you some other image and then click submit and now you can see the prediction result is parkinson wave so in this way you can check with some other data set images also as an instance i have shown you with few cases so now let me go to the performance analysis part for this wave image so here you can see the performance analysis for the wave as a performance analysis parameters like accuracy precision recall value and f measure value and also confusion matrix and finally comes the chart part so in the chart part you can see the chart depicted with the data set images that we have trained with so we note that this chart is a static chart this is not a dynamic chart as i intimated earlier we have not used any database in the project so this chart is being depicted from the data set that we have trained with so here you can see uh, healthy spiral images which is around 30.8 percentage and parkinson's spiral as about 19.2 percentage and parkinson wave around 19.2 percentage and healthy wave around 30.8 percentage and this is all about the chart part and let me log out and this is all about the project parkinson disease detection using machine learning and thank you for watching